for the viewers here. There we go, and it would be nice if it came up. There we go, great. All right, guys, welcome to the final, final game of the day for the qualification stage, and I stress the qualification stage, for the Escape Gaming Masters. This is to decide the first and second seed from... Well, actually, no, it's not the first and second seed. It's the fourth and fifth... Sorry, the fifth and sixth seed in the event tomorrow. Um... But yeah, it's to decide who finishes first and second in this bracket. So, uh, Backed versus Slam, we're here. And we have to the south of the map, in the blue, Slam playing as the Khmer. The first time we've seen the Khmer today. And off to the east of the map, in the red, we've got Backed playing as the Vietnamese. And uh, we're on Bog Island. And with me once again, Nupfert and Memp. I'll let Memp uh, take it away. Well, Zach and hello everyone. I'm really curious with this Khmer civilization. Remember that we, you can go up without any buildings. I have seen some games with, uh, with this one. Uh, Tatot, I think I have seen in this, exactly this map. You can go 13, 14 minutes easily to Castle Age. You don't need any building to go up. So you can go super fast and then try to move to, to water. This is, I'm really curious to see, I'm going to use that advantage to, to go to Castle Age. Then parry with Vietnamese. Let's see, let's see what, what he can do in this really, really original map. Yeah, I mean, I'm interested as well, because last time we saw the Viper playing this map, I think he was playing the Khmer when he did his uh, crazy fast castle knight fire galley rush, fire ship rush. Am I mistaken there, Nopefoot? I'm pretty sure it was the Khmer, right? Uh, yeah, very sure. Although he still blew the market, so it wasn't like hmm. total abuse. But he wanted to trade off some resources. But yeah, I think it was Kimmer. So maybe maybe we'll see something similar here from Slam. I don't know. Maybe he's uh, been reading the Viper's handbook on how to play Age of Empires and taken note, you know. Could could be. But this map's really interesting. Uh, it's one of the new maps from Rise of the Rajas. And it's basically uh, like a hybrid between land and water because this terrain, anyone can, anything can travel on it, boat or, uh, or human. And um, that means that you can basically raid your opponent's woodline with the ships, kind of like we saw earlier in the Pacific Islands game. Only this map is a little better than Pacific Islands, in my opinion, because uh, it's uh, a little less... I wouldn't even know how to explain Pacific Islands. There's just there's a bit more more available on this one, but yeah, uh, in my opinion, this this ends up being a little bit more reasonable. This map. Well, this one you can see if you can see that you have more resources. The food incoming with those rhinos is one thousand two hundred food. Three mm -hmm. rhinos. Good about the food to try to go for for fast cast a lot. Of, a really fast cast and also there is some deep fish as well so there is food yeah. there is food enough to to go like you say like more not a standard because this is not a standard resources but in comparison with the pacific island this one is yeah more playable right yeah you're forced to well you're not forced sorry to go to a different island to go and gather some food or build like 50 farms in the dark age because there's no food there's actually a lot of food because these rhinos they have more than a standard boar they have 400 so like you say a total of 1200 um the water buffalo have 150 food instead of 100 from a sheep and there's additional water buffalo scattered around as well if you scout them um they are there for the taking so it's a lot of extra food to be found and yeah there's box turtles there's fish and it's it's not too bad i personally don't think it's worth fishing the middle necessarily um simply because there is or there are so many rhino it's not like you need to supplement your food but uh it is an option as well uh, the risk of course of fishing in the middle is that there's not a huge amount of fish and your opponent could very easily push you off fish if they do a very fast feudal um which is certainly possible on this map so slam taking the time to wall up on the right side and you know this is one of the first and only times i've actually seen a player on this map do a proper wall most of the time they tend to play it very open and i think this could actually be a big benefit to slam especially because he's saving or, or keeping this area of the map safe which is where his extra gold and all this wood and stone is crazy you you barely can see these kind of walls in the in this map some people say i don't know if you can change right now that the scoreboard is still safe it's not really important but it's still safe bronze match if you can put the oh final match yeah sack, sure sure uh, do it they, they told me they and i'm telling to you uh well talking about that the map 
Walling that one, you can go now to make a Lumbricam there. He has a mill also taking that uh, that box turtles and, and everything. It's it's great, man. I mean, he's, he's getting a good advantage with this with this Palisade because there is not a lot of wood on the main island and now he can go safe because he's not yeah. going to get rash early in the game there. Exactly. What I would say, though, is that these Palisade walls don't offer much defense to a few fire ships and some galleys they will take them down pretty quickly. So it's maybe not as safe as you might think or maybe feel. But I would say it's a very different style from these players so far. Very, very different. Because you've got on one hand backed making three fishing ships in the middle of the map, maybe even a fourth, which is very standard on water maps. And there's the fourth coming in. Um, but you've got him going for like a fast feudal galley rush build. This is essentially what he's doing right now. Um, Slam, on the other hand, he's building farms. He's not built a single dock. He's walling up. He's going he's... fast castle. Exactly. It's, it's a completely for different sure. style. And I like that this map offers that opportunity, even though you could consider this a, a water map. You don't get that on normal water maps. <laughs> but, but he got some lucky, man, because I have yeah. seen and to be able to walk completely because he's going to 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 walk completely his base it's not easy that it it can happen in in this one and he's walling everything he's on the way to feudal age and look at the time he's gonna go up to castle age because he's gonna have the resources he has water buffaloes are still there like one two three, oh, yeah. four <laughs> more to take four farmers and without buildings i think he can go mm. right away up Oh, well, he he's needs gold. Mining. Yeah, exactly. He's he... On the corner, he's mining on the in the corner. Uh, okay. Three yeah, it's, from it's the interesting mill. actually because I even mentioned that earlier. I didn't think he would mine this until later on, but it's safe, so why not? Uh, yeah, I mean, fast castle is on the cards here, and it will be very fast actually because, like you said, there's still the water buffalo here. He's gonna have the gold yeah. from this this mining people, camp. People is it's asking nice. why, why why you are walling. I have seen this map so many times. If you don't wall and the other guy is coming with, for example, demolitions, and you have those villages on gold, the lumber camp there, and the demolition is coming, the demolition ship against those villages, guys. It's horrible, yeah. The demos the will. Blood. <laughs> the the demos everything. will easily kill the villas, yeah. Uh, Galley is coming out for Bact though, and this is the thing, right? Bact has played a lot of uh, AOC in his life, and those habits die hard. Players often go for the galleys first instead of maybe a, a demolition ship or a fire ship, which they can now make in the feudal age on the expansions. So back to it, this is the first time playing um, the expansions on, in a tournament. Has got some experience, so he is well aware of the water meta, but I feel like a demolition ship to blow up this wall could be interesting, for example. Uh, Slam though with a double reason, wall. Exactly. I like it. Yeah. It, yeah. For that oh, reason, Slam! One demolition there, yes? Look what Slam's building! Well, but do you know why he's doing the buildings? Because he didn't have the food. Uh, oh, okay. Seems it's probably going to be needed. Well, yeah. but then, then he's not taking any advantage for this uh, for this civilization. No. So the reason why I say this, guys, is the Khmer can upgrade to the next stage without any buildings. Uh, which we were talking yep. about earlier. So he doesn't need a blacksmith. He doesn't need a market to click to the castle age. But as Mem quite rightly said, he didn't have the food anyway, and he probably will need these buildings at some point. Maybe not the market so much, but the blacksmith, he definitely wants to get some upgrades in the castle age. So, yeah, I mean, it's not necessary to build these, and it can shave off some time when you go up to the castle age if you plan it exactly right. I think it just takes a little bit of an adjustment to your build order. Less less wood, more food, but, you know, it's, it's all good. He's up to the castle age, great time, and Bact has done no damage at all. He's sinking yeah, resources here, but nothing's coming out of it. Nothing. Well, he's willing more, but just just check that uh, that the slam went like a standard with two lumber camps. He probably didn't need to, the second lumber camp. He should put yeah. everything on fruit and then move to the wood to to make that super fast up. Anyway, he's gonna be in a good time in Castellage, but it would be like two minutes faster. Minute faster, a lot. He's gonna be super fast and. Once he gets Castle, he has got the docks in the back, and I, I find it so cool. I love this map. It's just, it's really cool. He can build his Ooh, army back building. here, yeah. and then he can Ooh, just break out. Building. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Uh, on the left side, backed, breaking through the wall. Like I say, it doesn't take much, but Slam, 
There's just walls after walls after walls here, and it's going to take Bact some time to break through that. However, once Bact makes it through this wall on the left side, Slam could be in a bit of trouble there, so he's going to have to send some units over that way, I think, and he's building fire galleys right now. So he's going to go straight into those fire ships once he gets to Castle. But yeah, this is a little worrying with the, the galleys coming in. He's got to wall off the, the back here. That's the important part so that they can't get through to the the rest of his economy. And he's and in fine. This map, this map, Zach, is not like in the Pacific, right? We can see that in this... in this. Oh, he walled it! He could wall that! I thought yeah. he couldn't wall that also. Oh, man, he could wall everything. Ay, ay, ay. He got well, it. I was... So yeah, I was about to say that in this map, the good thing for Barry that he has some, some good fish. So now he see, he can get some good economy, even if he's in Fidel, he got That's one true. million down. And Barry, 45, 45 population, slam 29, Whoa. 16 behind, but his castle is already, let's see. Yeah, now he has to take the advantage here. These fires gonna do some good work and war galleys on the way, which means that these will get upgraded to fire ships once that technology completes. Looking good for... Well, I mean, actually, I want to say it's looking good for Slam. I really do, but it actually looks pretty yeah. good for, for Bact as well because, like you said, he's way ahead in population. The question is how much damage will Slam do before Bact can you know, hold him off? And right now... Slam's focus is defending himself rather than counter-attacking, I feel. Oh, but why, why why he did archery range? I, I'm checking. Why Barry did archery range here? He oh, made an archer as he, well. Yeah, he's, he's gonna be... He's gonna need, he's gonna need a lot, a lot more time than I expected to go up. Because actually, I didn't yeah. expect that he's spending that uh, resources in an archery range. A barrack, of course. Well, I, I, I just really want to talk very quickly about wheelbarrow. Bact is doing wheelbarrow right now. I do not think this is a good time for wheelbarrow. Like, would you, Nilpford, are you still there? <laughs> We've not, not heard much yes, from you. Uh, wheelbarrow right now, is, is that really worth it? Well, the perfect timing is roughly 35, 36 villages for wheelbarrow. And the more farmers you have, the better it is. So it might be a bit early. I would have loved to see him if there's a market there and get up to calculate. Yeah. I think that's a bit better. And something else I want to point out, look at the... Oh, hello? Um, he, he thinks uh, he's close there, my bad. Uh, the very right-hand side of Barry's walls. Yeah. He thinks he's walled there, but actually, yeah, you can just pass with ships. Just Oh, yeah, of course. You can just go over here with the ship. That's so funny. <laughs> I didn't even... I was looking at that. I was like, yeah, he's walled. What's the problem? <laughs> but of course, it's just going to be ships going across. Oh, man. Yeah, that's kind of funny, actually. Uh, Slam here, though, taking a bit more map control, pushing out with these fires. But um, back to keeping most of his army alive, it seems, and not really taking too much damage yet. We're seeing towers coming up from him some in the wood lines here um and slam so far not doing too much damage back to backed well he's gathering he's trying to yeah. gather as much as possible because if he's going also too early he's gonna lose he has a tower there now he's hitting that, that tower and killing some villages he has five five fire ships now oh now he can do some good damage he will try to kill the, the tower and mm, I'm, mm. I'm not sure not not so convinced risky. about that yeah, even more when he has another one at the back, and so he need to run up. Yeah, he need to go away. Need to go Fires away are there. pretty good versus buildings, actually. They're uh, they're pretty good. Yeah, and but this... when you have to two art, two towers there with. The... Yeah, yeah, that, that's not that's not worth it. But yeah, I mean, in general, they're they're decent against buildings. But look at this back coming in at the back. And uh, he's even building a tower back here. I, I don't know why. That's very strange. Um, but he has got a sneak villager. The problem is he's given away his sneak villager by building this tower. Maybe he could have actually snuck in and done something with that, but he's given it away. Why well, he's got a tower there, man? Yeah, I don't get that tower. That's very strange. Wow. So I also want to point out it's very late for back right now as well. It's probably also very early in the morning. So, yeah, uh, um, these Asian players, both back and Tim, uh, very, very late at night for them. Maybe, well, I don't know if that's why he built this tower here, but, you know. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's yeah. a weird tower. Th it that's is weird. Definitely. Well, he's on the way to Castle. It's 50 population Islam. And Barry has exactly, well, one population ahead still. 
but uh, it would be the same when he reached Castle Age because he's now killing that tower. He can go kill another, but be careful with Slam. Don't fall asleep also. <laughs> yeah, well, war galleys for Slam now. And back, got to be careful not to lose too many galleys here before he reaches the Castle Age. We've seen this too many times today. Players are losing yep. their armies before they can get the upgrades in. And uh, back, going to be very careful to avoid the war galleys for now. Safe and, uh, well, it's the best decision to do. However, could lose a dock in the meantime. Bear in mind, Memp, in the expansions that we see here, buildings have less HP in every age. So in the Dark Age, they have like low HP. In Feudal, they get a bit more. In Castle, they get some more still. So this dock only has 1,800 health. When Bact gets to the Castle Age, wow. it's going to have more. So it's easier to kill the buildings in the earlier stages as well. And uh, maybe okay. he won't even... If we look at, if we look at uh, Slam's dock, he has also 1,800. Okay. Um, seems like it doesn't apply to the health of the dock. But it applies to houses, right? 750 on the houses versus 900. I thought it applied to the docks as well. 1,500 on the barracks. We don't see a barracks from Slam. Hmm. That's very curious. <laughs> houses have more HP in the Castle Age than the Feudal Age, but it doesn't apply to the docks, apparently. That's it, also, no, it applies that's, to other buildings weird. as well. Hmm. Strange. Anyway, anyway, both players kind of going at it on the walls at the moment. Uh, Bact here going for the bar- uh, sorry, Slam going for the barracks. Bact breaking in at the back with the galleys, and he's actually put another tower up here as well, oh, but so- go in, but go in! I mean, he break- go in! Ah, if he was going in, he would kill a lot of the living because he got he can't. anything, nothing there, but now he will have the tower up. He has to get back. Some little palisade, there you go. But still, he can kill some buildings, yes, he's killing some. Definitely, but he need to go back, yeah. Yeah, it's absolutely. Full of towers in a water map. Exactly. <laughs> uh, it's towers funny. In a water map. There you it's go. funny. And you see it again in back base. More towers, more towers. Every everyone's just building towers. I mean, they shouldn't call it Rise of the the Rajas. They should just call it Rise of the Towers because all these maps we see so many towers coming out from the players because they are very open and they're, they're so hard to defend with your standard walls, which you know leads to more tower play. Now this tower from Bact, is this going to actually work or will this tower actually go down to these fire ships? It, it's not looking too healthy, it, it's actually on fire right now. Um, not good, not good. Villagers having to va uh, evacuate and slam. It's showing the towers who's uh, boss. Slam is doing the damage, Slam is doing the damage there and he can kill also the other tower. Oh well, let's see, population difference is there, not, not big difference. A big difference, but he's now ahead in population. Remember that he was 20 population behind when he reached Castle, so he recovered. But military, parry, 11, 11 galleys, 23 slam, sack, 23 more than double the military on water for slam, who is killing more and more villages and going to be able to kill to deny that tower, yes, and kill the other one. Wow, so many towers. Which, <laughs> you, towers, you can make a castle, man. And that tower is so full of villages as well. So those villages are going to get melted down by the fire ships as soon as they pop out. Um, yeah, looking really bad for Barry at the moment. And it's... Yeah, I don't know really how he's going to be able to get himself back into this too easily. He's only got, at the moment, two docks, I think. So he doesn't have much production. Whereas if you look at Slam, Slam's got one, two, three docks and could easily add a fourth right now, I think. He's certainly gonna have the resources to, to support the production at this stage. He's got plenty of villagers out. So uh, yeah, Slam just out producing and out massing backed at the moment. I, I think with these galleys at the north, I think we're gonna see maybe a GG pretty soon here. There's a lot he, more villagers going to go down. He's reading everything. He's reading yeah. everything. Look at this. In the north, killing out on the right side. Playing really, really <laughs> great in this one. And he's kill out at 11, 11, 11. So after so, that, don't yeah. be so surprised that we see the GG, right? It's got to it's gotta come in soon after that. I mean, the laughing emote, you know what's coming next. Back to losing a bunch of villagers all over the map. And he's just I being he overwhelmed. Yeah, he loved uh, uh, that because he was 
getting the Belize in the right time all the times. He was trying to move there and he was there with the galleys. He was trying to the to yeah. the left. He was going to the left and he was there as well. So he was like, yeah, what exactly. the hell? Mm. I'm trying He's to everywhere. <laughs> There He's surrounded. Go. He's got nowhere to run. 42 population. Whoa. 42 wow. population. Wow. It's like 64. Like yeah. Whoa. Not bad. It's a big difference, man. It is. And at the same time, Slam isn't having any pressure applied back at home. It's all Slam attacking backed here. Backed, yeah. Doesn't doesn't have any counterattack. He has no army anywhere to, to a counterattack with. Um... Uh, that's surely it. I mean, he's adding more docks now. He's added some at the north of his base. So he's got four docks, I think. Yeah, four docks. But the units just aren't there. The production isn't there. And he's got a really long, long way to go before he can match Slam's army here. He's 15 ships behind, which is a huge amount uh, ah, to, to come back to. Is, yeah. A slam to lose this game. I mean, th mm. this game is on a slam, on a slam hands. He is about to to win, but he can lose he, the game. Not worry to win. Yeah. And, uh, it should be a big Titanic by by a slam to to lose this one. Yeah, absolutely. I, the thing is, right now, Bact has no reliable wood income because of the ships. Uh, they're everywhere. All of his villagers have been pushed off of this lumber camp on the left side. More villagers are dying on the lumber camp at the north of his TC. And I think Bact, I mean, he has to call it here, right? I mean, these villas just can't gather wood. And without wood, you can't build ships. And without ships, you can't defend your wood. It's a, uh, a recurring cycle. Never-ending downward so spiral. Sad. I feel so sad. Sack from Slam. Slam, he's gonna win probably this qualification stage. Like he's, he's not like winning a tournament. But okay, you are winning the qualification, Woo! and your prize, your prize is you are going to face Dogal. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's not really nice, right? Okay, what you want? Well, to face Dogal, man. There you go. You got a, a nice present for tomorrow. Stay tuned, is. That's funny. And, well, he he won it, man. He won it. You got. Play against Dogao Slam. Congratulations. Yeah, man. congratulations, oh, Slam. He's, he's great. Slam yeah. wins the uh, the qualification bracket. And uh, congratulations to him. He'll take the win over backed. But I mean, let's be honest. Whoever, wherever they come, these four qualifiers are going to face a very tough opponent tomorrow. Yeah, however I mean, way you slice it. it. it yeah, joke, I know. It was a funny joke as well. But... <laughs>